Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gudi, and I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine and assisted conception at Fertility Plus and at Fertility Courses. So today we're trying to talk about a slightly different subject, and it is something that worries us, and I don't think we yet have any answers. And the question we asked is, is a diminished ovarian reserve one of the factors which gets associated with recurrent miscarriage? And again, the question being asked is, is low AMH and recurrent miscarriage, is there an association? So th this was a paper which was recently published and it was a systematic review and a meta-analysis and it gave us an idea about, got us thinking again of whether there is a link of diminished ovarian reserve and pregnancy loss. 1-2% of pregnancies have a recurrent miscarriage and at present we don't have an etiology in 50% of cases where we just don't find a reason. The etiology could be age, it could be poor egg quality, poor embryo quality, and that search for a significant proportion of recurrent implantation failure will continue. Now, in this study, they looked at 148 studies, and looking at that, we felt they felt that AMH as well as antral follicle count became the best prognostic factors, which would give us an idea about the link in association to recurrent miscarriage. There is no doubt there is, a, there is an association between increased maternal age, decreasing oocyte numbers, and the risk of aneuploidy, and, and that continues. To a certain extent, we know that as women get older, the risk or rate of miscarriage increases. Again, re repeated miscarriages also occur as women get older, and that is mainly a risk which is taken due to aneuploidy. So if you look at the previous papers I've reviewed, if you miscarry a genetically normal embryo or a fetus first time round, there's a higher possibility that you will, may miscarry a genetically normal embryo next time round. Or, or rather, if you have got, uh, had a miscarriage to maternal factors, then maternal factors in the next miscarriage also dominate. So it's not the only cause, but again, it's one of the main causes that you see in recurrent implantation uh, or recurrent miscarriages. And what did this study in, in summary say? It says that there is a conclusion. In their conclusion, they said that there's an ap apparent association between decreased ovarian reserve and recurrent pregnancy loss. They again felt that low AMH and antral follicle count may predict the rate of miscarriage, though at present this is not clear. And why is this important? And this is important because I don't think we know many reasons of recurrent miscarriage. Though we focus on genetics and thrombophilia to a large extent, I think our search is still limited and in 50% of cases, we don't know the cause. And thus, that search continues. And though I, I continue to believe that AMH does not have a, a huge role to play in repeated miscarriages. And that's my personal opinion. Uh, I feel that age is the main factor. And I continue to believe that AMH, again, is not a test on quality. And rather, I, my opinion is that it is a test on numbers again. And that's a, sh a short video which probably starts looking at the papers presented. and. Uh, Thank you very much.